Well, originally, there was a level crossing keeper's uh, cottage on the other side of the road, which was there when the railway was built. But later on, when traffic increased, uh, they needed to control um, the, the level crossing um, in a much more efficient way, so they actually built a signal box. This is a listed building. This is the only surviving uh, Southern Railway signal box um, as it was built. Um, so we, what you see here now is as it was in 1873 when the signal box was built. The whole route was what we call a single line working, so that you had one, one track between Barnstable and Biddeford, and obviously you had, you had trains going uh, in opposite directions, and to avoid a collision, the whole area, the whole length, was divided up um, into what they call sections. And each section was controlled by a signal box. As a train was coming from Barnstable, um, it would have to pick up what's called a token, like this, and it couldn't proceed. This is the Barnstable to Insto token, and it couldn't actually proceed along the line until the driver had this token in his cab. Uh, without this token, he wasn't allowed to move, because that meant there was another train in the section. And in fact, the signalman had to stand out on the um, balcony there and hand the driver this as the train was moving. They were all steam engines, of course, in the early days. Um, and sometimes they would have just one carriage, or if, if it was a busy weekend, for example, in the middle of the summer, there'd be several carriages. But of course, they also carried freight, milk, newspapers, clay. There was a whole variety of stuff going through here because most, most of it was actually carried uh, by rail, not by road, as today. Um, and in fact, the reason that this survived until 1982, long after the Beaching Act, uh, was that there was a lot of uh, clay traffic, fertiliser traffic and milk traffic still using the line right up until 1982. The most famous train was actually called the Atlantic Coast Express. And that ran all the way from Waterloo to Torrington. Um, at the weekends, and um, you could sit in your seat on Waterloo Station in London and go all the way to Torrington without having to move. The train went straight through. Um, the West Country Pacific used to run through here, and of course they were named after the, the towns and the stations along the line. And in fact, you know, there was um, a Pacific that was actually named Instow, and one named Biddeford. And was, Barnstable. And Barnstable, you're quite right. And there was also one called Bundy, but of course the train never got to Bundy. Yeah. <laughs>